just wanted to make a video on this filter system I made for um, uh, emergencies uh, in case uh, there's a, some kind of an airborne event and you're stuck in a house or a home and you need ventilation but you don't want to suck in the bad air outside so basically what I have here is this is a HEPA filter and then it uh, goes to the suction of this uh, blower motor and that's attached to this bucket lid. This is all sealed up and you have to you have to seal all around so that there's no uh, suction leaks otherwise you'll be just sucking in the contaminated air. Then uh, this is a charcoal bag. It's about five pounds of charcoal. It's a three and a half inch hole. There's about 17 cups of charcoal in here, so maybe five pounds or so. And the way I, these are handles to get it up out of the, out of the main bucket, because it's hard to get out of there if you don't have little handles. Then what I did is I took two other buckets and I cut uh, two and three quarters inch off of one and then two inches off the other and that gave me space in there for the charcoal. I also took a bucket lid like this and then cut this out to give about a half inch clearance inside here. So there's this, the bucket lid is sitting on like three posts in there, so it's up about an inch off the floor. Uh, and then there's about a half inch gap all the way around. So that baffles the air and it, it forces the air through the filter or through the intake and then comes back out here and it gives it more time to be in, in contact with the charcoal. And then there's where the inlet is. So the air goes in there, hits that baffle, flows out around the rim and comes back out through here. And you want about a half, uh, by quarter uh, second contact is what the recommendation is for the air to be in contact with the charcoal. So that gives it some extra time. And then the way I put this together is I put that, um, this is stainless steel screen just to keep the, the charcoal inside. And I just used a, like a, uh, soldering iron to melt that and weld it together. Then I uh, uh, did the same thing here. I welded these, plastic welded these together. And then this sets down in the, the bottom. And that's your charcoal bed. The inside, there's a, some uh, filter material down there. It's just a roughing filter, basically like a, um, a, a batting type material. And that's on the bottom. So the inlet is, is down here. I drilled uh, half inch holes all the way around a, a, a one inch interval, about two inches off the bottom. And so this is a seven gallon bucket. So it, uh, it is kind of taller. If you go with a five gallon bucket, you may need to get a shorter HEPA filter. So basically airflow comes in through the holes up through the roughing filter, the batting, then through the charcoal bed, and that's where the gases, if you have, a, say, a radioactive uh, event, or a radio, uh, like a nuclear event, you want to filter the gases first. That removes the gases, and then they decay to particulates, and then those are filtered by the HEPA filter, so um, there's two different things. You got the charcoal for like chemical and uh, gases, and then particulates are taken care of by this HEPA filter. And then to put this together, all you do is that sits down in there like that. And then this goes on on the top like that and then it's ready to go. 
I'll turn it on. It's, I, you, you seal it, you have to knock this down. So that's uh, got a seal there. And then when it's on there, it's really sturdy. Uh, I mean, it's um, not gonna come apart. But then I just have this hooked up to test run it. So it's got plenty of flow on the outlet here. Uh, you can see there's a lot of a lot of flow there. And you wanna if you want to throttle the air on this you want to throttle in the discharge it, it you could throttle it down to almost nothing but if you throttle the suction side too much it'll uh it'll make noise and it won't work right so it's better to throttle on the discharge side and again all these this is just um rtv or uh, silicone and you want to seal all the joints you want to seal any connections that can go into the pump. So you don't want anything sucking from atmosphere through this pump on the suction side. The only thing that is not sealed on here is the bearings. There's another bearing like this down on the, the bottom. So that's the only non-seal and it would be pretty small. And as long as you uh, don't have um, plugged filters or something, it's, gonna, it's probably not gonna suck through there very much. So anyway, it works pretty good. It was cheap. The, the motor was basically free. I was uh, plumbing supply stores, or not plumbing supplies, but uh, plumbers and stuff. A lot of times they'll remove uh, heaters and things like that. Uh, and they have these blowers and they, most, um, the ones we have around here, they don't mind you going out and scrounging it. So the pump was free, the blower, the filter, the HEPA filter is a, uh, just a Craftsman vacuum cleaner filter. It was, I um, say about maybe $15. Then the charcoal you can buy on you, uh, eBay. Um, I would say 10 to $20 for that. And then the batting material is just, or the filter material is just any, you can put pretty much anything down there just for roughing filter. And then your buckets. So this took three buckets to do because you have to cut cut them up, and uh, it works pretty good. I'm happy with it, um, and it's uh, for emergency. So what you would do is you would put this outside where the contaminated air would be. You would hook up a hose or a ducting from your outlet into a, an area that you can seal and then the air you would blow blow into there and you'd want to maintain about a 0.25 inch of water pressure in the area and then so you can throttle the discharge to get that anyway um it's cheap the ones that you buy that are official and uh, certified basically are thousands uh they started about a thousand dollars and then go up to like ten thousand dollars so this was uh, a cheap alternative for just in case it's not uh it's not perfect by any means but it's at least something so anyway you guys have a blessed day thanks bye